energy. If you breathe too much, called hyperventilation, you will actually reduce the flow of oxygen to your brain, reduce the flow of blood to your brain, because the over-breathing causes a loss of carbon dioxide in your body. It depletes your carbon dioxide levels. Carbon dioxide is not our enemy. It's what helps the trees. So when you breathe more than normal, you blow off your carbon dioxide. And carbon dioxide, in its absence, will cause a reduced blood flow to the brain, meaning less oxygen to the brain, less energy for your brain. You'll feel tired. You'll feel listless. You'll feel tense or stressed. Because carbon dioxide, in its presence, keeps your nervous system calm. In its absence, makes your nervous system stressed. It'll make you feel jittery. It will increase pain. Carbon dioxide, in its presence, opens the tubes in your lungs, which will increase the flow of oxygen from your lungs to your blood. But in its absence, when you breathe too much, will give you asthma and less entry of oxygen to your blood. Carbon dioxide, when it's present, will allow the entry of oxygen from the oxyhemoglobin. The red blood cells carry oxygen on a molecule called oxyhemoglobin. But that oxygen is not able to be released unless you have sufficient amounts of carbon dioxide, which will be there if you breathe just the right amount. But if you breathe more than normal, more than natural breathing offers, then you'll actually restrict the flow of oxygen from your red blood cells into your body cells. And when there's not enough oxygen in your cells, because there's not enough carbon dioxide in your blood, then every glucose molecule will not be able to produce enough energy. If you burn or metabolize a glucose molecule in the absence of oxygen, which is called anaerobic metabolism, you'll create two molecules of ATP, which is the energy source of the cells. But if you can get oxygen to be burnt or metabolized in the presence of um, oxygen, if glucose can be burnt or metabolized in the presence of oxygen, then you get 38 molecules of ATP, 18 times as much energy just by bringing oxygen into your cells. How do you bring oxygen into your cells? By having enough carbon dioxide. How do you create enough carbon dioxide? By restoring natural breathing. And if you can restore the natural breathing that you have when you were a child or that you still maybe have when you're asleep, you get better oxygen. Breathing naturally is the key. And once you can master breathing naturally or remaster the natural breathing that you had as a child that you might get in your deeper sleep if you're actually getting good sleep, which is very important, then I can show you how to do supernatural breathing. And supernatural breathing is the breath that the yogis of Tibet and India and China and all traditional cultures, including the indigenous cultures of Australia, South America, Africa, and all over the world, have done to have supernatural abilities, like being able to survive in the cold, to survive with much less food, to be able to be meditative, calm, and lead a long, happy, healthy life. I can show you some of the secrets I've learned from the great masters that I've learned with. The mastering of your breath is only possible if you can restore natural breathing first. What's natural breathing? It's five things. Inhale low in your pelvic floor, lower back, lower abdomen. Exhale passively with no extra tension. Don't breathe so much. You can forget the breath and get on with your normal activities and breathe through your nose. If you can learn these things, remaster the things you do in your deeper sleep, in your everyday activities, especially when you're moving your whole body, this is the first step to natural health, to restoring better health. Thank you.